welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. And Merry Christmas, everyone, in who has Christmas on the 25th of December. Because this video is going out on the 25th. So I guess that's most places, actually, who has Christmas on the 25th. It's just us Danes who are a bit weird and have it on the 24th. But anyway, next up is our victory is complete. And the Jovian small moon survey vehicle is complete. No effects on it. We will do, I think, payload reliability training because it's quite unreliable. And our launch date will be September. And confirm. Next month, we have our funding review. We won't quite get there. Almost. Next year, we will get our funding increase, I am pretty sure. Uh, Ezra 2B, only vehicle boosters reliability counts towards launch reliability. Okay. Let's build a vehicle for that. That'll just be our tiny little Topaz and Emerald. We don't have any upgrade points for that. Uh, so 78% launch reliability, 70% uh, payload reliability, that's fine. We have a new request mission somewhere at Jupiter. Galilean moons flyby, together with China. I don't want to do mission missions with China. I really don't. Let's have a quick look at Mars and the milestones here. So no one even has the science for this. We're launching in 10 months. We came first here, we came first here, we came first here. No one has the science for this. We are working on that science. We came first here. Japan has the science, but they don't have the mission planned. And yeah, crude Mars landing. No one has the science, obviously. So yeah, we're, we're doing very, very well. Very well. Next month, our Gemini is complete. Ooh, rover discovery hints at microbial life. Your Mars rover, Rosalind, Rosalind Franklin, has discovered organic carbon which will strilling at a site at the base of a mountain. Although still contentious at this point, some scientists, some scientists are claiming that the carbon could be from organisms and that microbes are currently living on Mars via a process called Chemolithotroph Chemolithotrophy Chemolithotrophy How the hell do you pronounce that? Chemolithotrophy? I have no idea. Eating rock. We gained 1500 science. That's very nice. And our Gemini is complete for a long duration flight. Ochre upgrades have no point requirements, but they cost extra. That's okay. We will reuse a shuttle here uh, with hmm. Let's reuse that shuttle. Advanced guidance system. What is it that does? Uh, that is neutral event chance is converted to positive event chance. Yeah, that's fine. Let's confirm that. Refit shuttle. And that'll take three months. It'll, it's ready in three months. The beetle juice. Okay, next month, March 1996. And our inflatable module payload is complete. Uh, no effects for the orbital radio. We'll do science. We launch in May. Confirm. And then our inflatable module, we need to design a vehicle. We will reuse Horus for that. And refit. So, all good. So we're launching the orbital radio in two months. The Beetlejuice is complete in two months. Horus is complete in four months. 
the Jovian Small Moons is launching in six months, and the engine and habitat for the Mars requirements is launching in eight months. We are at 80% Mars readiness. 80%. The closest is China with 35. We are so winning this race. Mars meteorite causes headlines. Scientists have claimed that an ancient Martian meteorite discovered in Antarctica may prove that primitive life was once supported on the red planet. The 4.5 billion year old rock contains unusual mic microscopic structures that could be evidence of organic molecules. The findings have been disputed by many in the scientific community, yet there has been a surge of support and funding for future Mars missions gained 500,000. Not bad. We have a new request mission on the moon, far side of the moon, with experimental fuel. Uh, we will complete the ground hab next month. Mars prep ground hab research complete. Sustaining human life after they land on Mars is of the highest priority. A specialized ground habitat designed to shield astronauts against the radiation and extreme conditions on the surface will greatly improve safety and living standards. The mission will send the, send the ground hab to land on Mars ahead of the later crewed mission. Cool. And we have the long duration flight vehicle complete, the Beetlejuice. Plus 5% launch reliability. And the orbital radio is ready to launch. Let's do it. Weather looks fine. Excellent conditions. Good. Let's get it up there. Only 3% risk of going boom. So don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, you're going. You're out of here. You are out of here. Beautiful. And we get a secure launch. So no effects. Our Emerald and Topaz are already maxed. So we need to deal with Drift. We need three comms, four nav. We have four turns, two commands per turn. And we need to keep the Drift between minus one and one. That is not too bad. So... Let's do a data collection and a ground control connection so that takes us up to plus three and then we need to do this quite a bit let's not do this let's do a signal return test then atmospheric sampling that takes us to zero and three Nice, an extra data there. That actually gives us our data requirements. Then we can do a data transmission and a visual data collection. That gives us everything that we need. Uh, and we're within bounds, so and we can resist both. So we are getting our 50% bonus, and our mission is complete. Beautiful. That was easy. That was very, very easy. So, 353 support, around 400 science for two months. Uh, we need to research, and we need to research the payload here. That costs 9,600 silent, 5.7 million, Jesus. That, oh, the axe costs 8.4 million to build. Oh well. Uh, we have the long duration flight that we need to plan out. So Jadius is going. Our bootstrapper is going. And our celebrity is going. Yeah. We'll do science research, of course. Uh, it is quite unreliable, but we have the bootstrapper with us. Uh, we have three astronauts, so I think it'll be fine. And let's just go next month. Confirm.
So let's do it. Long duration flight. Publicized. Let's launch. That'll give us some nice science as well. Adequate conditions. 1% risk of going boom. Everything else is a positive event. Don't go boom with our astronauts on board, please. Off we go. Cleared the tower. The Beetlejuice is going. Still going. Oh yeah, this is a good launch. Good launch, good launch. I got nervous there at the end. All right. And of course, a positive event plus 10% payload reliability for duration of mission. That is nice because it was only at 70%. So now it's at 80. And the Hermes is as reliable as it gets. All right. Achieve Earth orbit. We need to deal with drift. Minus one to one. It doesn't fluctuate or anything we need 16 comms 16 data and 10 nav all right so if we do let's start by doing a flight path correction that gives us one two and two And then we can do a ground control correction. We have five turns, four commands per turn, by the way. Then let's do a Data transmission. Oh, we can't do that because we need uh, we need data for that. So we do an external sensor alignment, and then a data transmission that keeps us on the money for the drift. It gives us four, two, and five. Let's do it. All right, good start. Let's conduct some experiments. Then do a manual data collection. A ground control connection. And an external sensor alignment. That takes us to 5, 8, and 9. And keeps our drift where it should be. Dang it. We'll assist that. We want all the comms that we can get. Alright, let's do a manual data collection and the conducting of experiments again. And I think we'll do a data transmission. And an orbital realignment. That takes us to 12, 11, and 10. And we'll have two turns remaining. We're right on the money still. Well, not right on the money, but we're within our parameters for the drift. So if we do this, that takes us to 14, 16, and 10. Then we just need a two comms, which we get with a power. And we can recharge once, taking us to five power. We can resist everything. We get our 25% bonus ward, and we are within the drift parameters. Oh, nice. An extra comms there. And we'll just resist that, no problem. And there we go, task complete. Next, we need to perform a controlled re-entry where we need to deal with heat. We can do that. 
we get one to four heat per turn. We need to keep it below three. And right away we are at four. We need 22 comms, 18 nav. So if we do this with our first two turns or two commands, manual data collection, and then conduct some experiments, then we can do two ground control connections, taking our heat down and giving us six and four. I think that's fine. Dang it. We'll resist that. Okay. So let's do this again. Taking our heat to two again. That gives us 12 and 8. Close one. That failed. Resist it. And another ground control connection, and it's all good. Alright, how much heat do we get? We go up to 5 heat. So we need to do heat 3 times. So we can do 1. A conducting of experiments, and then 2, 3. That takes us to 16 and 14. Our heat down to 2. And we're good. Ah, dang it. Resist it. How much heat do we get this time? Back up to four, so we need to do two times heat. Um, Let's ping location and then recharge power. Uh, so next turn we just need three nav, which we can get there. And then of course make sure that our heat is managed. Okay, takes us back up to four. So that actually means that we can just do this and this and recharge twice. It gives us our bonus reward. Our heat is managed. 50% bonus reward achieved. Nice and extra nav. That actually means that we get it right there. Not bad. Not bad. All right, shuttle is coming in for a landing, and I'm not skipping that because that is too cool. That is too cool. Look at it. I love it. Beautiful. I don't know why you would send the Gemini up with the shuttle, actually. Uh, I mean, they already have a capsule in the shuttle. So, well, the game allows us to do it, so we did it. 2,241 support, 822 signs for four months. Very nice. Uh, achievement unlock publicity campaign. Okay. Uh, so they will be recuperate, recuperating for a while. Earth, oceans, experimental fuel. Okay. We have a mission slot, two mission slots. So let's do Earth Oceans. We'll give it extra power. Build that, that'll take two months. And then we have another mission slot available. I suppose we could do Far Side of the Moon, which is experimental fuel as well or we could do the power module with the US I think we'll do the power module with the US it's a better mission 
it's shorter, it gives us more. So why not do that? We'll do power again, 1.5 million, build it. That'll take eight months. And next month, Horus is complete. And that's the inflatable module, plus 5% launch reliability. Okay. We'll assign some crew. We'll assign a scientist and a multinational because trust 25% reputation reward. And we are doing it. No, this is not together with NASA. So we'll send the athlete. And we'll do science research. And we'll launch in August. Confirm. And we have a new quest mission. Centrifuge module. It's a lot of support and a lot of science. And this is probably the best module in the game or upgrade in the game can we start a task once permission that is extremely useful we're up to 82 percent mars readiness uh, let's see when is the next phase for this next month i think yeah Twenty-one months, one month. Okay. Well, next month, launch inflatable module and goes as complete. Vehicle upper stage gains three experience levels after launch. That won't be relevant. And the inflatable module is ready to go. 99% launch reliability, 75% payload reliability, and we'll gain a lot of science. And excellent conditions, so not bad. There is 1% risk of a critical failure, no risk of a negative event. So let's go. Get up there, Horace. the tower. Looking good. Looking good. Oh yeah. And we got a secure launch. Let's do this. Drift is something we need to deal with. We need 28 comms 28 nav and we need to get our drift up to 10 okay we have five turns four commands per turn we need 28 and 28 so if we do a manual data collection Actually, no, because we only have two astronauts. So if we do a remote access configuration, then we can conduct experiments. We can do real-time comms. Nav is not easy to get. And then a flyover course adjustments. That's nine and four for the first turn and two data. All right. And of course, fail on the first one. Okay. Now we'll do a flight path control here. Then we'll do I think 
a magnetic field analysis. And then two orbital realignments. That takes us to 10 and 14. Not a whole lot on the drift, though. We need to do something about that. We'll assist that. All right, so... Real-time comms. We'll do conduct experiments, and then we'll do real-time comms again. And again. That almost gets us up to the drift that we need. We just need one more, which will be a remote access configuration. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Uh, extra two comms. Okay. So, we need to do a remote access configuration. We need to recharge our power. We need some data. And then we need flight path control. That takes us to the drift that we need. We need 10 nav next turn. So we can do a flight path control. That gives us 6. Then we can recharge our power. And do a flyover course adjustment. That gives us 10. Dang it. We can't resist this. So we'll just accept it. There is no way to bring Drift back at all, so we can't do any of these three. But we don't need to. We need to do that, recharge, do the flag over course adjustment, and recharge again. That means that we can resist one of them. It puts us right on the money with the nav. And we have four extra comms, so if we need to resist both, then we'll resist one that costs us comms. We didn't need to resist that. And we didn't need to resist that. Alright, mission done! Inflatable module is up there. And that gives us increased propellant capacity. Plus 5,148 support. That will take us up above the next tier. And 350 science for 20 months. Alright, and... Alvarez and Massa are on the space station for a year. We have Earth Oceans. We need to design a vehicle for. We'll do the Ariane 1. We'll do the Atlas. We will do... What's onboard cameras? No support penalty for failing mission. No, but we'll do, um, uh, reinforced tanks walls, because look at the launch reliability on this thing. 53%. The Atlas is at 80%. The Ariane is at 80%. What if we chose the Ariane and this? Still 53%, and it's more expensive. So, no point in doing that. So it's experimental fuel, and we have 10, minus 10% 10 launch reliability. That is not a good combo, man. Well, confirm. Build that. That'll take four months. We have a mission slot. So I guess we'll do, do the centrifuge thing. There is no power here, so we'll have 50% payload reliability. That really sucks. 
Okay, next month we are launching the Jovian Small Moons. So let's go ahead and do that. 89% launch reliability, 85% payload reliability. That's what I like to see. It's raining, it's bad conditions. 6% risk of a boom. Let's reschedule to October. And go on to next month. Mars surface habitat research complete. A habitat capable of supporting several human lives designed for landing and operation on the surface of Mars. All right, let's launch this guy. Better conditions this time, good conditions, nice. 1% risk of boom, 2% of a negative event. Not too bad. Not too bad, we actually have boosters on this. And off we go. Looking good. Looking good. Yep, we are out of here. On the way to the Jovian moons. Ooh. It's a good thing that it was so reliable. The Delta IV gets a little bit more reliable. Tiny little bit. So let's do our Jupiter transfer orbit. We have thrust and drift. Uh, thrust will reduce to zero at the start of the next turn. Okay, so there's absolutely no point in doing this, uh, doing the thrusting until the last turn. We have five turns, three commands per turn. The drift isn't doing anything. We just need to be within minus one to one. So... If we do a signal attenuation test, a manual thrust adjustment and a boosting of tr transmission, that gives us seven comms, two nav, keeps us in the drift area, and that's all good. Now, we need to hit this three times on the last turn, the calculated thruster burn, so we need to get to 14 nav and six data before then. All right, so what we could do is do a manual thruster adjustment. Then we could do two ultraviolet imagings. That gives us the data that we need, plus a bit. So let's do that. Alrighty, we have three turns left. We can do another manual thrust adjustment and then we can do emission control monitoring. That takes us to six and nine. And then... Do a cosmic dust analysis. That means that we can do this one next turn. Yep. Okay, so we can do emission control monitoring. We can do a Doppler tracking. Then we need one more com, which we can't get. Um, 
What if we do two signal attenuation tests and then boost the transmission? Uh, no, that won't work. We can do. A signal attenuation test, boost the transmission, and do a manual thrust adjustment. That's still not enough. That's still not enough. Uh, we're not going to get a bonus reward here unless we are lucky and get an extra nav. That is just the way it is. I don't see any way of doing it. An extra nav! <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Beautiful. Now we can calculate a thrust to burn three times. We are at exactly level 11 nav. We get our thrust. Wow, that was lucky. That was so lucky. And we can even resist if something goes wrong. It didn't though. Wow, that was lucky. Oh yeah. That was so lucky. 587 support, 111 science for 20 months. Right, we need to research something. And we now have that, so we'll research the acts. When will we have a mission slot open? In a while. Oh well, it's okay. We are launching the engine and habitat next month. But it's also going to be in the next video, because we are out of time. What do we have for missions here? Oh, that's the new milestone mission that we have available here. Uh, here. Mars prep. Ground hab. So yeah, we will continue on in the next one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.